Here we have the basic rules for integration by parts. First, you'll want to memorize this formula. It's very important in solving any of these problems. You'll note that the u dv is the original question, so you don't need to rewrite it throughout the equation. dv should be the most complicated part of the equation that can still be integrated. Pick a u value where the derivative of u is simpler than the original u. Again, pick a u where the derivative of u is simpler than the original u. With the following types of problems, you'll want to let u equal to x to the nth power. With the following types of problems, you'll want to let dv equal to x to the nth power dx. With the following types of problems, you will want to let dv equal to e to the ax dx. It's almost always easier to integrate e to the ax. Here we have an example problem. Go ahead and take a piece of paper and write this problem down so you'll be prepared to solve it. We begin by recalling the formula for integration by parts, and we identify our u value as well as our dv values. After we have identified these values, we take the derivative of the u value. In this case, the derivative of x is just 1, so we have dx equal to du. We have a dv value, and we'll need to integrate that dv value to get just the v value alone. So then we take those values that we found, and using our integration by parts formula, we just substitute, which we'll see in just a moment. Here we go. We just substitute into the formula for integration by parts. We see our u times v minus the integral of v du. And from this point forward, it's just a basic integration problem, and you'll just need to integrate e to the 2x dx. And here's your final answer.